I... I love you! You learn something new every day. Hey! Hey, Pierre! Um, hey, Orange. Hey, Pierre! Dude, are you okay? Pierre! Wanna go in the freezer? Um, no. Why not? There's a whole library of boring books in there. It's fun in the freezer. It's ice to meet the freezer, Pierre. <laughs> Ooh, Marshy! Hey, Marshy, hey! Did you know that there are rainbows in the freezer? And grapefruit. There are sexy lady grapefruits in the freezer, too. Wow, wouldn't have expected them to be hanging out in the freezer. <laughs> Wait, are you guys serious? You can't honestly trust Orange. He's acting so funky. Funky? I like funky. You can get funky in the freezer, Pierre. <laughs> funky in the freezer. Ooh, funky in the freezer. Oh, see? Sorry, Pierre. Gonna need to check out these ladies. You understand. We love Oh, what the crap? Well, that wasn't ominous at all. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure Marshy and Grapefruit are just fine. Yay! That was fun! Oh, Marshmallow, Grapefruit, you're okay. Yeah, it's so much fun in the freezer, Pierre. You guys should try it. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that one. Yeah! Try it, guys. Yeah, try, try it. it. Just, you know, give it a whirl. What is going on? Can we chill it with the weirdness? <laughs> chill it. Chill it, chill it in the freezer. Go to the freezer. <laughs> chill it. Oh, my God. Uh, we're not going in the freezer. Uh, something really creepy is going on here. Yeah, everyone that goes into the freezer comes out possessed. Exactly. I think the freezer might be haunted. I agree. I think we should get out of here. Like, now. Finally, an idea I can agree with. Where'd you leave your monster truck? I parked it in the freezer. Got it! Little Apple, no! Wait, my monster truck isn't in my there. Yeah. Up for crying out loud. Ah. Yeah, go in the freezer. No, no one is ever going in that freezer ever again. You shouldn't do that, Pierre. You're gonna regret that, bear! There, no more freezer weirdness. Now life can go back to normal. Dream. Oh. Pear, what's wrong? I heard you screaming. Oh, it was nothing. Just a bad dream. Oh, well, I brought you something I think might make you feel better. Um, thanks, I guess. No problem. Night, Pear. Oh. Howdy, howdy, Fruity.
Tootie Toots, Orange here, and today we're doing the Is That a Cake Challenge! Pear, quick, is that a cake? No, it's the title of this video. Oh. Okay, I stand corrected. Hey, Little Apple, is that made of cake? My monster truck? No way! I just drove that here just now and... Whoa! Oh my gosh! Do I even have a truck anymore? No time to think about that now, Little Apple. We're short on time. <laughs> Here's the dealio. The two of you are gonna duke it out for cake identification bragging rights. Announcer voice guy, tell him what the first object behind the curtain is. It's a stick of TNT. <sighs> I should have guessed. This stick of TNT may or may not be made out of cake. Note the realistic looking fuse, the cylindrical shape, and it's banging red finish. One point could be yours if you guess correctly. Is it cake or not? I'm gonna guess it's cake, mainly because I'm hungry and I want it to be cake. And I'm gonna guess it's real TNT. Knowing Orange, he wouldn't pass up a chance to set off real TNT. Well, this much is sure. One of you is right, and the other is Pear. <laughs> Just kidding, let's cut to the chase. What? You're gonna cut that with a knife? Well, yeah. How else are we supposed to find out if it's cake? Yeah, but if it isn't cake, it's gonna blow up. That's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> ah! oh. See, piece of cake. <laughs> oh, oh man, now that's a huge relief. Nah, it's just a normal sized relief, but I can see how you think that. <laughs> ah! Man, that really had me fooled. It looks so real. What can I say? Our cake artist is a cut above. <laughs> Little Apple, you're in the lead. But now it's on to round two. Voicey McVoice over, dude. Tell us what we got. It's Pear. What the? How did I get behind this curtain? Resident boring guy Pear may or may not be made out of cake. Excuse me? Note his cake-like eyes and the stem on top of his head that might be marzipan. What is happening? Guys, I am not made of cake. One point could be yours if you guess correctly. Is Pear cake or not? Well, I'm just gonna nip this one in the bud. I am not cake. I am Pear and I'm made of Pear. Seems a bit obvious, don't you think? Well, I'm gonna say that pear is made of cake. Uh, why is there a knife hovering above my head? Silly pear, we need to know whether you're made out of cake or not. How could I be made of cake? You see me talking to you. Sure, but I know a lot of cakes that can talk. Yeah, in fact, all the cakes I know can talk. Good point. And speaking of points, let's get to it. No, no, what? The knife was fake? Talk about a slice of cake, am I right? <laughs> har har, you scared me half to death. No, this is half to death. Orange! What the? I'm so confused. Was orange made of cake this entire time? I mean, kudos to whoever decorated these cakes. They're beyond lifelike. I'll say, you didn't suspect a thing about me the entire time. What is happening? What? Whoa, huh? Is anything in this kitchen not made of cake? Just you and me, I guess. You, you're really not made of cake? Be honest with me. Well, I swear, I'm legit. Here, I'll prove it. Wait, no, that's okay. Ah! What up, fruit lovers? Ao and the gang here with something super cool. <laughs> Today we're doing the brain freeze challenge, so we're bringing in a whole bunch of frozen treats. Oh wow! We got ice cream, we got popsicles, we even got Slurpees. Oh man, I love all this stuff. You might be singing a different tune in a few minutes, cause here's the deal. It's a race to see how fast each one of us can eat the stuff on their plate. Whoever eats the most wins. And whoever eats the least? They'll have to spin the punishment wheel. Yay! I love things that are round, including you guys! Let's do this thing! Grapefruit is ready to roll! Okay, everyone get your popsicles ready. Three, two, one, go! Hey, no fair catching me off guard like that! What are you talking about, dude? I counted down from three. Oh, 
Wow, little apple. In addition to being illiterate, can you also not count? Um, I'd like to play the fourth. It's the fifth, bro. Wow, are you bad with numbers? This is great! He'll get last place for sure! It's a race for first, people! It's been a minute since I won one of these challenges, but today that all changes! Ah! Who else is starting to get a brain freeze? Not me! Me neither! Three, neither! <laughs> Was that a joke? I don't get it! Oh man! Oh, it hurts! Owie, owie, owie! Seriously! Am I the only one in pain right now? Um, dude, you might want to slow down. Your head's looking a little. Well, frozen. Grapefruit, you better slow down, or Elsa. <laughs> uh, let it go, let it go. Shut, shut up. up. Yeesh, no need to be so cold. <laughs> hey, did anyone notice Grandpa Lemon wake up? No, why? Because his popsicle's completely finished, plus half his ice cream. What, I haven't even finished my popsicle yet. Grapefruit, dude, you should slow down. Your head looks like the planet Hoth. Hoth? Uh-oh, Pear. Your Star Wars reference went way over Grapefruit's frozen head. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely starting to feel a little brain freeze. A little? A little? Um, could we stop shouting the word little, please? It's a derogatory term to certain people. Guys? Grandpa Lemon's Slurpee is halfway gone. How is that possible? I don't know, Frosty. <laughs> uh, you, you won't be calling me Frosty when I win this challenge. And Grapple Lemon Slurpee is finished. What the? How the? Whoa! Lesson learned. Never sleep on Grapple Lemon. <laughs> Wake up, Grapple Lemon! You won! Yay! Huh? How? How? One? What's this about one? A one, two, three, four? Someone want to tell me what he's babbling on about? Oh, would you look at that? Guess I got a case of the old sleepies. Yeah, that's not a thing. So Grandpa Lemon won, but now we got to see who lost. Everyone put their Slurpees together. Seriously? I'm over here living life as an ice cube, and I still lost the challenge? <laughs> Sorry, Grapefruit, but those are the rules. You got to spin the punishment wheel. Fine! Get to me, me, me one step closer to the one bath! Nice! Wait, no, 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 no! Oh. 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 What does it say? It's a number, isn't it? Well, it's another Is That a Cake Challenge! Starring Pear, Hey, and Corey! Aw, I'll pay good money for that new butt. Now, please welcome your host, Oran. Hey, fruit lovers, slice to see you again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> Whoa, that orange cake seemed really real. Who the heck do they got decorating these things? I have no clue, but they're way too talented to be working on this show. All right, all right. We got to get this started. So let's cut the chit chat. <laughs> Voicey McVoicerton, what do we got first? It's a balloon. It floats, it's semi-translucent, and it can earn you exactly one point if you guess correctly. Is it cake? Um, is this a trick question? Of course it's not a cake, dude. Eh, don't be so sure, dude. I did this challenge before, and they managed to trick me every single time. Bro, they're making a balloon animal out of it. I say it's not a cake. Final answer. Corey is locked in. Pear? Look, I don't know how you guys did it, but I know it's a cake. A cake that floats? That would be pretty sweet. <laughs> Don't try and talk me out of it, Orange. I know how this works. Everything is a cake. The counter, the toaster. Corey's probably made of cake. I probably made of cake for all I know. Bro, you okay? I know I'm missing half my brain and all, but your brain seems to be, I don't know. Made of cake? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, laugh it up, you two, but you'll see. I refuse to get burned by this challenge again. That balloon is somehow made of cake. 
final answer. You heard the pair. Chop to it, people. Is it cake? Oh, I'm sorry, pair. It was actually a balloon. Corey officially takes the lead. I can't believe you got that one wrong, bro. It was a piece of cake. Or was it? <laughs> <laughs> Can we please just move on to round two? Absolutely! Voiceover dude person guy, bake us away! <laughs> Next, we have a glass of water. It sloshes around. It's totally translucent. It oops, looks like I made a mess. Can we get a mop in here? Anyway, one point can be yours if you guess correctly. Is it cake? Well, this one's easy. Of course it's not cake. Corey seems confident. No bunts about it. <laughs> Pear, what do you say? Hmm. I think it's cake. What? What? Bro, you saw it shatter. The water puddle is evaporating in front of your eyes. I just cut myself on these glass shards, and I don't even think mops have blood. Look, I know it seems crazy, but I saw what this cake decorator is capable of last time. They're not bound by the laws of physics. I can't explain it, but I refuse to get tricked again. The water glass is cake. Final answer. Huh. Well, you heard him. Voicey voice person, McDude. What's the dealio? Is it cake? <laughs> Another shot of glass got in my eye. Do mops even have eyes? Gotta say, Pear, you suck something fierce at this game. Oh my god. The stench of failure is bad. Hold on! No! No! I don't believe this! Pear? This is cake, people! It's cake! Ow! Pear, that's glass, bro! Oh yeah? Then why does it taste like my own blood? Oh! <laughs> Oh, Pear, you should not have chewed that. Ooh, this is glass? What the heck is happening? Honestly, kind of seems like you're losing it, bro. Ah! <laughs> um, what do you say we end on an easy one, Voice McDooter Dude? Last up is a cake. Whoa. Okay, that is easy. Decorated with real frosting and sprinkles, this cake is a legitimate cake. In fact, I'm going to have a slice right now. Mmm, that's good cake. Pear, you gotta admit, that seems like cake. Oh my, this cake is awfully crumbly. All right, one point could be yours if you guess correctly. Is this cake a cake? I don't know about pear, but I'm going with cake. Final answer. <sighs> Fine, I agree. It's obviously cake. You heard him, folks. Knight, let's cut to the chase. Is it cake? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. The cake is actually a rock. What? Whoa. But, 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 but that can't be. Voicey McVoicer guy ate it. That's true. So what, you ate a rock? Sure did, and it was easy to do because my teeth are made of diamonds. That's not true. Oh, tell me, have you ever seen my teeth? Okay, that's valid. Well, folks, by a score of two to zero, today's winner is Corey. Nice, what do I win? A new car. Nice, cake. You didn't let me finish. You win a new car cake. Oh, okay. Well, that's still pretty cool. And don't you go anywhere, Pear, because you get a consolation prize. Oh, oh yeah? A new stick of TNT. Cake, right? It's a new stick of TNT cake, surely. Hello? Hello? Oh my God, dude. Say it's cake. Say it's cake. <laughs> Right? When's the talent portion? I can touch my tongue by eyeball. <laughs> hey! Hey, Cake! Hey! Not now. I'm busy. I said yellow frosting, not marigold. This is the most important day of my life, and you expect me to go out there with marigold frosting? Marigold doesn't make my lettering pop, now does it? Does it? Get lost. You're fired. You'll never work a pageant again. 
Whoa, I gotta hand it to you. I've seen a lot of outbursts, but that one takes the cake. <laughs> I'm about to be named the next happy birthday cake. The next happy birthday cake? Well, that's a weird name. My name's Orange. <laughs> Don't call me a birthday cake. Not yet, anyway. I'm not a birthday cake until I have one and I put on the candle tiara. Knock on wood or something, would you? I don't want to jinx this. I've been working towards this moment my entire life. Sorry, I don't have any hands, but I can tell you a knock-knock joke. <laughs> I'll pass, thanks. Knock-knock! I said no thank you. I said no thank you who? I am not doing a knock-knock joke with you. Hmm, I don't think I get it. <laughs> Contestants report to the stage. We have the results. This is it! This is the moment I've been waiting for! Would you say it's the icing on the cake? <laughs> Ugh, even your knock-knock joke is better than that. Let's get to it then! Oh, wrong envelope. This is actually a birthday card for the birthday girl. Whoa, ten bucks? Nice! Sorry about that. Anywho, here's the real envelope. And the winner and new happy birthday cake is... Baby Blue! <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I'm so happy for you. So happy. Just so incredibly happy. There she is. Happy birthday cake. Yee! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Here's your sash. Wear it proudly. I have always dreamed this day would come. And of course, your candle tiara. Yeah, it's like actually happening. Somebody pinch me. If I had fingers, oh, I'd pinch her real good. Thank you so much. I, oh my God, I can't believe this is just so. Well said, Baby Blue. And now that you've been crowned this year's happy birthday cake, there's just one last thing. Matches? Whoa, this pageant just got lit. <laughs> I'm ready. Ah! This is like so painful. Oh, this is worse than I thought it would be. Look at her milking her big mama for all it's worth. Hey, you missed a candle. This is my big moment and you're ruining it for me. Can't you do anything right? Everybody stop taking pictures. Thank you everyone for celebrating this moment with me. It's every little cupcake's dream to grow up and be a birthday cake. Thank you, thank you. I am so jealous of her. Just look at her smoldering. She looks so happy. And I'm so happy for her. Unclench your teeth, honey. It's not over. Ah! Oh! Ah, what an attention hog. That is so gonna be me next year. As if it's gonna be me. I just can't decide whether my platform is gonna be ending hunger or promoting world pieces. Every pageant contestant worth her baking powder knows it's world peace, not world pieces. No, pieces! Huh? <laughs> now that wasn't very slice. <laughs> you think cakes have it bad? Try being a present, dude. <laughs> ah! la, 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 Stop that already! Ah, oh, phew. Aw, man! That was my new favorite song, too! How'd it go again? Dude, you sung it for like 20 minutes straight and you already forgot it? It went like this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Greetings and salutations, gentlemen. Hey! Who's this chill dudette? She's a popsicle. Duh. You're quite mistaken, my curvy friend. I'm no mere popsicle. I'm the perfection of countless varieties of frozen concoctions over centuries of culinary experimentation. I'm a class of frozen treats all on my own. The gold wrapping I came in is worth more than this entire kitchen. I am the finest of gelatos. I am the creamiest of caramels. And you may call me... Snobsicle? Excuse you. My name is... Hey! Hey, Snopsicle! Hey! Here we go. What? What's cooler than being cool? I'm not sure I understand the nature of the... Ice cold! What? I said, what's cooler than being cool? Ice cold? All right, 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 now pair! No. Oi! What's that I hear out there? Okay, I see how it is. Just because I get pushed back to the freezer, Dambo thinks he can just replace me? What, you think you're better than me, Moneybags? Think would be the wrong word, my simple friend. Not that you're capable of an intelligent thought. I know I'm better than you. Them's fighting words, compadre. 
They teach you how to roll over there at prep school? Hey, come on, let's all calm down here. Yeah, just chill out and let it go. No need to give each other the cold shoulder. <laughs> That's pretty tough for a preppy pop like you. But you don't even have a chocolate shell. Get out of here. Because I'm not hiding a subpar ice cream underneath, heathen. No wonder you were discarded in the back of your freezer. What's so bad about that? The cold never bothered him anyway. Please don't. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let him go. Let him go. Something, something. Let him go. Hey, oh, what's going on? We're watching two popsicles fight to the death before they inevitably melt. Ho, ho, ho. I want to watch. Perfect. You can join in the next verse. No. Let him go. Let him go. Let the fight rage on. This reference is way too old. Yep. The past is in the past. <laughs> it worked. My word. It seems you do have a spine. And look at that. There's an amusing little joke on it. What? You. Oh, you want some ice for that burn? That doesn't even make sense. They're popsicles. Check in, mate. No one sees past the old baited queen. A moment of silence for Choco Pop so we can remember all the good times we had together. Oh, yeah. We just met the guy. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I've heard uh, gelato's like the softest ice cream there is. So let's put that to the test. Oh, God. I don't understand. I thought Choco Pop was a goner. Must be nice when your skin's like solid ice. Yes. Garbage disposal's got nothing on that kind of shell. Hey, you smell something? It smells like gas. It wasn't me. Wait. Orange. Ah, quick! Get the fudge out of here! What are you doing? Go! Get the fudge out of here, you silly butt! We're all dead. Get the fudge out! Ew! Oh goodness, that smelled good. Here's the massive ice cream sundae challenge. Let's get ready to rumble! Uh, orange? Yes, grapefruit? What happened to your voice, bro? I changed my voice using this voice modulation ray! Oh my god, I want that thing! And you can have it! If you eat a bigger ice cream sundae than your opponent! Uh, little apple! <laughs> you kidding me? All I gotta do is eat a bigger ice cream sundae than he does? <laughs> I think bite's bigger than this squeeze entire body over here. Hey, yo! Um, I have to agree. This doesn't seem, well, dairy bear. <laughs> oh. Not to worry, little apple, because I'm giving you the first choice. Pick the largest sundae you believe you'll be able to finish completely. If you don't finish the entire thing in three minutes, you <laughs> Bro, all this voice modulating, now you're just rubbing it in my face. Well, I guess I'll go with the smallest one on the end. The others are all bigger than I am. There's no way I could finish them. Plus, I already had a light lunch. This is too easy. I'll tell you what, bro. I am going with the biggest one. Wow, really? Sure, why not? I'm hungry as a horse. Might as well make it interesting. The competitors have selected their Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> Begin! Well, here goes nothing! Wait! Huh? Please don't eat me. I'm just a widow Sunday. Um, Orange, you didn't mention that my Sunday would be so alive. Didn't I? Oh, apologies for not communicating the conditions of this challenge. <laughs> Ah, please, please don't. I, I love you. Oh my gosh, I can't do this. My Sunday loves me, Orange. So you officially throw in the tiny towel? I mean, I don't see why it couldn't be a regular sized towel, but yeah. Little Apple has forfeited. Hooray, thank you, Little Apple. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Yeah, it was obviously no big deal. <laughs> Orange! 
Well, I suppose this gives me a clear path to victory, at least. Just gonna grab my spoon, loosen up the old stomach muscles a bit, and there we go, and get to work on this Sunday! Yeah! Oh, excuse me? Um... Do you intend to eat me? Well, uh, yeah, k kinda. See, it's really a challenge video, and I really, really, really need that voice modulator, and you need this device more than I need my life. Oh, come on. I feel like you're making me out to be the bad guy here, bro. Well, if you must eat me in order to achieve your dreams, I guess so be it. Oh, thank you. See, this guy gets it. It's fine. But you'll have to eat me before I eat you. Wait, excuse me? Ow! Bro! What are you- Hey! Hip squeak! Ah! Orange! Got a challenge you running here! Thank is this! Looks like just another manic Sunday! <laughs> ah! You got my left buttock! And it's delicious! Oh my god, that's equal part terrific and disgusting! Now scram before I get really hungry! <laughs> Mommy! Thank you, Big Sunday, for standing up on behalf of Sundays everywhere! Oh, snap! Yo! That was cold, Sunday! <laughs> I've realized something. Not only am I the largest Sunday in the kitchen, so good, I'm also the largest object of any kind. And the more I eat, the greater my size and power become. Yes! I don't understand! All this killing and destruction! Why isn't it obvious? Complete and total control! <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sunday! Do you find this amusing, Orange? Oh, did you say complete and utter control? I thought you said cone troll! Hey, I did not say cone troll! Oh, well that's not very funny. Did you at least say utter control? Because a dairy pun would work too! Oh my god, are you always this annoying? I'm so eating you right now! Not so fast, Sunday! Huh? Ah! Ah! Ice cream headache! Oh, it hurts so much in my head! Bro, you forgot to control the most important thing of all. And what might that be? The thermostat! Yeah! <laughs> no! I'm melting! Whoa! Grapefruit just got us out of a sticky situation! And into another one! <laughs> yeah, it was nothing. Besides, I had to get my butt cheek back, right? There you go. Need a little super glue and some duct tape. Hey, that actually stuck right back real good and tight. Orange, I know Grapefruit didn't technically eat a Sunday, but he did manage to kill it. And seeing as how he totally just saved everyone's lives, maybe we could bend the rules and give him the voice modulator ray anyway? Oh yeah, that's a good idea, Orange. Listen to the pipsqueak. Hmm, well I don't like to do this gelato the time, but Grapefruit's heroics did bowl me over. Here you go, buddy. You earned it. Oh my god. I, I finally have it. This is it. This is the moment. Look out, world. Grapefruit's finally getting his... Huh? Ah, oh, why isn't it working? Well, I think melted ice cream got inside and gummed up the works. No, no. This can't be happening to me, <laughs> my beautiful voice. Uh, I feel your pain, Grapefruit. Now I won't be able to do my hilarious announcer voice for jokes anymore. Listen to this, it's just not the same. Let's get ready to rumble! Orange, you did not feel my pain. It's not the same thing as losing your actual voice. Okay, but seriously, we should probably get ready to rumble. Huh, uh-oh. Oh, 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 I'm sorry I'm late. Has the episode started yet? Nope, you're just in time. Oh, thank goodness. I woke up late and didn't get a chance to read the call sheet. Huh, playground, okay. Seems like this will be a fun episode. If you say so. Oh, thanks. Okay, so fill me in. What's the challenge? Um, check it out. This tracksuit's a lot like the ones from Squid. You're so obvious. 
obviously gonna lose. Get it over with and just crack me now! Speaking of cracking, get a load of pear! Oh my god, 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 oh my god! Pear! Just relax! Yeah, easy for you to say! You got a triangle! Umbrellas are the hardest ones! Dude, you know this isn't the actual Squid Game, right? This is just a fun YouTube challenge. It's not like they're gonna kill us or anything if we crack our cookie. How can you be so sure? Because I cracked mine like 30 seconds ago. So did my tomato buddies over there. And just look around. Nothing bad's happened to any of- oh! <laughs> ah! Ah! Me and those tomatoes barely even got a chance to catch up. <laughs> Three minutes remaining. I give it one star! <laughs> oh! Look at Pear! Oh my god, 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 oh my god! We gotta help him! Oh my god, oh my Yay! god! Remember what the guy did in Squid Game? He licked the back of the cookie and dissolved the umbrella out that way! Hey, you're right! Well, I'd completely forgotten about that! Oh, thanks for the tip! I'll do that right now! Whoa! Hold your horses! Nobody's licking my butt! Okay? I didn't sign up for that! Would you prefer he jab the superheated needle into you? Okay, you can lick my butt. Huh. Yep. Yep. Actually, this is surprisingly enjoyable. Yep. Yep. Ew, gross! <laughs> yeah, I changed my mind. Hey, you, with the fire-hot needle. Stick that in me real quick. Oh, yeah! That's the stuff! Hey, can I get a new cookie? Thank you. One minute remaining. Pear, that's a risky move, don't you think? You're almost out of time. I know. Just let me focus, okay? Seriously? A needle? <laughs> Please. They might work on those other half-baked wannabes, but not me, pal. Oh, no. Pear's new tin has one tough cookie inside. And I will not be licked. Got it? You even try to lick me, and you'll be the one who gets the licking. You understand? Oh, my gosh. I'm screwed. Well, I'll say, getting handed this cookie was crummy luck. <laughs> uh, Yo, what did that orange just say about me? Well, I'm just saying, your attitude could definitely be badder. <laughs> hey, you, butthead, shut up. Uh-oh, Cookie's got a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> uh, stop being so annoying. Yeah, Orange, I only have like 20 seconds left to finish. I can beat you to a pulp, Orange. I was in the army. Whoa, a cookie who was in the army? Were you in the sheet? <laughs> ah, dude. Were you in Operation Desert Storm? <laughs> I am not gonna sit here and take this from you. Oh, really? What thou gonna do about it? I will show you what right now. Orange, we don't have time for this. Go ahead, punk. Bake my day. <laughs> That's it. Ah! Hey, wait a minute. Look, my cookie pulled it out of here without leaving a single crack. I, I'm safe. And it's all thanks to Orange's annoying personality. Yay! Orange, how can I ever thank you? <laughs> I can't talk! I'm too busy kicking this cookie's butt! Hey, you're not kicking my butt. You don't even have legs, bro. Whoops! Did I say kicking? I meant licking! Ah. <laughs> hey, stop that! <laughs> How is your tongue so agile? <laughs> <sighs> well, gang, what do you say we get out of here? I'd love to, but I'm running a little behind! Hey! So you guys go ahead. I'm gonna bring up the rear! Hey! Dude, would you quit it with the butt jokes already? Uh-oh, I think this guy's about to crack. <laughs> ah, what are you saying about butt jokes, huh? Um, who's joking? You're about to crack, dude. Huh? Oh, no, 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 I'm still gonna beat you up after this. No! <laughs> Not again. Whoa, that was crazy. <sighs> okay, Orange, just say your joke about his death so we can get out of here. Hmm, oh, squid games? More like squish games, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Not your best work. Okay, okay, let me try again. 
Looks like Tough Cookie flat out lost today's challenge. <laughs> I don't know. Eh, maybe. Mm, he was a son of a batch and I do not miss him. <laughs> yep, that'll do it. All right, just toss up the end card already. Howdy, howdy, fruity toots. Today, sis, Grapefruit, and I are doing the bite, lick, or nothing challenge. How does it work, Orange? Glad you asked, sis. In that bowl, I place the name of different foods. Maggie cheese, soggy asparagus. Bro, why are these foods so disgustifying? How rude. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there, asparagus. I'll take that, thank you very much. Good day. Whoa, uh -oh. looks like we lost our asparagus card. Ah, don't worry about it. We'll have a spare, I guess. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, after we choose a food, then we each open an envelope. One of us will have to take a bite of the food, one will have to lick it, and the third person won't have to do anything. Oh, I hope I get that one. I'm good at not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure I want to do this challenge. I mean, come on, eating super gross food? I got some pride. Have I mentioned that the prize for winning is a voice modulator, Ray, capable of changing people's voices to anything they'd like? Hey, that's the device to change my voice. I've been waiting a super long time for Dr. Bananas to fix it. That's right, and if you win, you can change your voice back to the way it was. Wait, did I say I have some pride? I meant to say no pride. I'm totally in. Let's eat some absolutely disgusting foods. I'm excited to play too. If I win, I'm gonna use the voice modulator ray to improve my Christopher Walken impression. Why? Is it not very good? I'm doing it right now! Oh, yeah, you could definitely use it. Okay, our first disgusting food will be ice cream. Ice cream? That doesn't sound disgusting at all. Yeah, it actually sounds pretty cool. <laughs> okay, I got uh, lick. Easy enough. Here we go. Excuse me! Uh. Bro! Did you just lick my backside? Uh, I didn't realize you were a, a person. A food, a food person. What did you think I was then? An object? Well, honestly, yeah. Police, police! This creep just licked my backside. Wait, wait uh, no way, I was just doing a YouTube challenge over here. Yeah? Well, now you're doing the going to jail challenge. Hands behind your back, creep. I don't have any hands. Uh, yeah, I honestly don't know why I even carry these things around. Let's go. Guilty. Hey, uh, would you mind taking the top bunk? My sag nerve, you know, it goes on the fridge sometimes when I have to climb up and, uh... <laughs> You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Grapefruit? Changed. Ha! Huh. Well, it must be psychological, because your voice is still the same as it was. <laughs> okay, so who's ready for round two? <sighs> round two? You know, of the bite, lick, or nothing challenge. Really? We're still going through with all that? Well, of course. Somebody has to win the voice modulator, Ray. Okay, fine. Well, uh, what's the next food? It's soggy asparagus. Great, it's you again. Oh, like I'm thrilled? I'll have you know that I'm not that soggy anymore. I've been hitting the gym regularly. Oh, yeah. Uh, spare us the details, will ya? <laughs> nice one, Grapefruit. Jill really made you more funny. <sighs> okay, I got bite. Nothing. Lick. Again. Great fruit. You want to go first? Oh, no. No way. I'm not going first again. You go first. All righty. Hey, asparagus, do I have permission to bite you? Yeah, sure thing. Mm. Thank you very much. Whoa, okay. See, this is what we needed the first time, a willing participant. Now it's my turn. Hey, what the heck do you think you're doing? Oh. You just licked me, bro. I know, I thought- Police, police! Oh my God, no, not again. Don't take me back to the big house. What seems to be the matter, miss? This creep licked me without asking permission. Well, is this true? But, 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 but no buts, you sicko. Look at him is what got you into this mess in the first place. Now spread your feet while I pat you down. You don't have hands and I don't have feet. Yeah, I don't know why they make me say that. Let's go. What the heck? Is happening. Oh, hey, great friend. I don't want to talk about it. 
this the voice modulator ray still up for grabs or what? Of course! We haven't finished a round yet, so this third round is winner takes all! Great! Let's do this! I've prepared months for this! If you say so, last up we have maggot cheese! Oh snap! I was kinda hoping it wasn't actually a thing! Oh, it's a thing, all right. And as far as cheeses go, it doesn't taste too good. -a. <laughs> this cheese doesn't have a face, does it? Like, it's not a person, right? It's an object? Correct. It's just food. Well, we're food, but you get what I mean. It's food for food. Food, food. You know, I gotta say, sometimes the rules about food food feel pretty ill-defined. Best not to think about it too long. I got bite. I got lick. Which means I got nothing? Yes. Yes! I'm sure to win now! Not if I can manage just one little... Excuse me? Huh? Wait, I thought you said the cheese wasn't a person! Who just licked my maggot cheese without my consent? Uh... Police! Police! Let me guess, another licking incident? That's right. And surprise, surprise! Our neighborhood licking pervert just so happens to be here! What the? I didn't do anything! Get on the ground! I am on the ground! Uh, I know, I just like saying that. Let's go. Oh, come on! Well, I guess since nobody won, we might as well try the voice modulator ray out. Sweet! Toss it here so I can try it. Catch! Whoops, forgot, no hands! Uh-oh, looks like it's broken again. No, my voice, my beautiful voice. Let's go. <laughs> 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 so cold. Ice cream. <laughs> oh, who's there? Oh, oh man, I'm really craving ice cream all of a sudden. Ice cream. Whoa, a creepy dilapidated ice cream truck parked in front of my house in the dead of night? It's like this was meant to be. <laughs> Hey, hey, I g g g got my quarter. Now, give me some ice cream b b before I turn into a p popsicle. <laughs> uh, hello? Anybody there? Ice cream. Oh, I hear you in there. Are you open? You cream. Listen, do you understand how badly I need ice cream right now? Very badly. <laughs> But here's the twist. Bruce Willis's character was actually dead the entire time. The end. Wow, I just finished an entire book. I can't remember the last time I was able to do that. I know, right? Without Orange around, everyone's productivity is up. I just finished my Halloween costume, Marsh of the Penguins. <laughs> I finished mine too, Naval Officer. <laughs> yeah, I finished my costume as well also. Great, Brew, is that really a costume or is that just a way to get women to kiss you? Oh, come on, give me a little more credit than that, sis. It's a way to get women to pay to kiss me. Yeah. Really need money that badly? I took out student loans for an MFA in creative writing. Does that answer your question? Hey, what's your costume, Pear? I actually don't have one yet. Oh, well, Orange was gonna be top pun and I was gonna go as his wingman, Juice. And since he's not here, you want in? Mirrored aviator sunglasses are the entire costume? How easy is this? Oh yeah, I'm in. Um, is anyone else suddenly cold? Quick, huddle against me for warmth. In your dreams, grapefruit. Eh, worth a shot. Is that ice cream truck music I hear? Well, that's strange. Why would there be an ice cream truck in October? Probably because it's being driven by the strangest person we know. Come, buy some ice cream, friends. Don't be so cold. Ha, 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 ha. I know it's autumn and all, but you gotta admit, ice cream does sound pretty sweet. <laughs> Heck yeah, it does. Let's go! Hey, Orange, what's the scoop? <laughs> Hello, friends. 
Would you like some ice cream from my freezer, friends? Sure would. Me too! Then step inside and peruse the freezer, friends. That's kind of strange, don't you think? I've never seen an ice cream truck that made you get into the truck, too. Yay! Ice cream! What was that? Uh, what's going on? Why are they wearing uniforms? They are my newest employees here in my ice cream truck, Pierre. Ice cream! You scream. We both work for ice cream! Ha, ha, ha! Hold up. Are you telling me this ice cream truck is hiring? Grapefruit, do you really want to work here? No, Pear, I do not. What I really want is for someone to publish my unfocused maladroit short fiction and relieve me of my suffocating student loans. But the New Yorker ain't exactly knocking down my door at the moment, you know what I mean? So let's do this. Zaddy needs a paycheck. Yeah! Ugh, I tried to warn him. Warn you? Zaddy? Never call him that again. Okay. Welcome, Grapefruit. You are hired. Thank you. By the way, what does this job pay exactly? You pay us, your soul. Um, okay. Is there a 401k or? Yo, can I get some ice cream already? Of course. Just come into the ice cream truck, little apple. Into the truck. The truck. Come into the truck, little apple. Okay. Little apple, do not get into that truck. Why not? Yes, why ever not, Pierre? Well, for one thing, they could just serve you the ice cream through the side window. And for another, the step's too high for you. Okay, he's right. Two ice cream sandwiches through the window, please. Certainly, it is not a tall order. <laughs> nice work, little apple. You managed to get a treat without becoming some kind of weird zombie slave. We are not slaves, Pierre. We wish to be here. Whatever you say, dude. It is true. Employee morale is high. Observe as we spontaneously burst into song. I scream. You, you scream. We, we all, all scream for <laughs> Little Apple, look out! No! Little Apple? Hello, Pear. What? What happened to you? Nothing, Pear. Also, please call me Little Ice Cream Sandwich from now on, Pear. Join us in the ice cream truck, Pierre. There's plenty of room, Pierre. Are you kidding? There's no way I'm going anywhere near your truck until you tell me what's going on. What's going on? Yes, tell me right now and be straight with me. Very well, Pierre. I'll explain everything and I won't sugarcone it. Just kidding. <laughs> That's it. I'm not getting anything from your truck. That is fine. We will be on our way, Pierre. Hooray! It's an ice cream truck. I have my money. Yay! Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, stop! Okay. I'll go in the truck, okay? You will, Pierre? Uh, yeah, I will. Just don't possess those kids, okay? Take me instead. Yay! Yay! We are overjoyed, Pierre. Please enter, Pierre. Well, I guess there's nothing to do but head into the danger zone. Okay, so where should I go? What you desire is in the freezer, Pierre. Uh, here goes nothing. Uh, hello? It's me, Pear. I'm here to, uh... Pear sunglasses! They're mirrors! Master jump scared his own reflection! What? What's happening? What happened? Oh, this is gonna sound bananas, but I have a splitting headache. <laughs> yeah, 
My head actually hurts pretty bad, too. Um, maybe we should move this inside. Pear's right. It's beginning to sprinkle. <laughs> Yay! I do have a happy ending. Me too, Marshy. Me too. Happy ending? What the heck are you talking about? These won't come off my head. Oh, what's the use? They're gone. <sighs> what the heck are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>